Welcome to Cerner Hacks. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how I've set up my screen to optimize my uh, efficiency with Cerner and how it helps with sorry day-to-day -day practice. So in this first episode, I'm going to show you how I set up my screen when you first enter Cerner. So this is a first time, first time entering Cerner. I'm just going to click on this chart. And this is what you should see when you first enter the patient's chart. It's a very busy screen and we're going to try to simplify things a little bit more, maybe make things a little bit easier for you to navigate during your rounds. So first of all, you can see on the left-hand side of your screen, there's the black menu and then the lighter menu. The darker menu here gets in the way a lot of times and it takes away from our overall real estate. And I don't find that I use it too often. So we're just gonna hide it. There's a little pin button up here. Just click on that and it's gonna hide that menu. And if you ever need to bring it back, all you need to do is hover over it. Okay, so what we've got now is you've got your tabs along the top. Of course, there's blue bar, which is your patient identifiers. And how we're going to use this screen is that every time you enter a patient's chart, because your admissions tab is most leftward, so what's going to happen is every time you enter a patient's chart, the admissions tab is going to be open for you. That's not the best way to do this unless if all you're doing all day is admitting people. Most of the time we're rounding on people and occasionally admitting people. So click and drag. And now we've got the rounding tab on this side. So every time you open a patient's chart now, it's going to go into a rounding section. The quick orders menu is probably my second most used tab. And that's where you order all your medications and investigations, etc. There's a rural quick orders uh, tab, which I don't use a, a lot often. Suppose if you work in the rural community, you might use it more. It seems to be a duplication of the quick orders. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this X and that gets rid of that tab. One tab that's not shown in here and that's useful for us, particularly our hospital at Lionsgate is this little plus symbol. If you go down and these are all the potential tabs that you can put up there. And one of the tabs that's useful to us is the patient dashboard tab. So let's click on that and see what brings up. And what this will show us is the patient's demographics, where they're from, their birth date, their phone number, and PHN number for billing purposes. It'll show also down here your patient assessment. And your patient assessment is what the nurse's last chart of that patient. So whether it's a cardiovascular examination or last bowel movement, this is where you'll find that information. Emergency contact on this side is also quite helpful. This will tell you next of kin and who the patient wants to be contacted in the case of emergency. If you hover over the name, if there's an alternate number, the alternate number will also show up on this. So the other thing I'd like to do here is to move to patient dashboard because this is probably the third most common tab that I use as I move, move it over here. So now I've got rounding, patient dashboard, admission, transfer discharge, and quick orders. So let's close out of this chart. And so when we enter a chart, let's just bring in another patient and see what happens. Bring in this patient. And so you can see what happens is those changes that we did are now permanent to Cerner. So you don't have to do this once and any patient that you open up from now on should result in changes. So make sure when you uh, leave, you exit from the exit Cerner, this one here, when you quit application, all those changes will be saved. So next time you open it, it'll all be saved. Okay, so that's it for this video and hopefully that helps with your uh, navigation.